National Educator. Welcome to today's biology revision. Today, we'll be looking at structured questions. Lana, what do you understand by the term structured questions? These are questions that require you to give brief and precise statements. When you come across such questions, don't give a lot of stories. Be precise and to the point. It could be your favorite topic and you want to write as many points as possible, but please give precise answers. We'll start off by looking at our first question. Question number one, when are two organisms considered to belong to the same species? I'll repeat that again, when are two organisms considered to belong to the same species? Lana, I encourage you to repeat or to read the question twice or even thrice to understand it and get the keywords. In this particular question, the keyword is species. What you're being tested on is whether you understand the term species. And Organisms are considered to be of the same species if they can interbreed freely to bring forth fertile offsprings. To expound on that, species share similar characteristics. They have more similarities and very few differences compared to other taxonomic units. Uh, we continue because that was a very precise question, very simple, straightforward, and to the point. We move to the next question, question number two. State three characteristics of living things. State three characteristics of living things. Lana, what is expected of you in this particular question? One is to know what is meant by characteristics. Two, what is meant by living things? We go to our definition of the word characteristics and basically characteristics are distinguishing traits. So when you are asked three characteristics of living things, what are the distinguishing traits of these living things? The other term that you need to understand before you answer this question, is living things. And li a living thing is an individual form of life. Lana, another catch of that question is you've been told to state three. Should you state four? And your first, uh, uh, your first answer is wrong, the second answer is correct, the third answer is correct, the fourth one is correct, only the first three answers will be marked. So you'll miss out on the extra, uh, the, 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 the third score. So you need to start with those statements or those characteristics or answers that you're very, very sure of. Avoid gambling. And when you're told three, just state three. Another term that has been used in that question is state. What is meant by state? Give a brief and a specific statement. Don't write a lot of stuff. Just be very, very precise, 
स्ट्रेट फॉर एंड टू द पॉइंट